good news for you. There are no severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. I mean, that is wonderful. Now, you can look off to the west. We do have a flood advisory along I-12 over here by Baton Rouge, so you've really got to be careful driving there. Have my friend Jared Bro in Covington. He was looking off to the west. Let me show you what he saw tonight, and it's lightning. So watch it flare up, and he said it was just going and going. Maybe not as much as it was last night, but that's quite a lightning show. All right, let's look at our storm tracker and let me show you what's happening. So as you look at the North Shore, you're looking good. South Mississippi, you're looking good. The Metro and much of the South Shore looking good, but we still have a couple of storms showing up. So you can see this one near Thibodeau. Wait, let me, we've got our lightning in. So look, we're really not seeing much lightning with that right now. That is great news. Then we can look over here by Baton Rouge. That's where you've got the heaviest rain right now. And they have had some serious rain. Avalon Walker, looks like you've got hail just to the west of Livingston. Then we can look to the south. Here's Gonzales, Sorrento, you've got rain. And then some heavier rain, all sinking to the south. So how much rain did we get? Well, let me show you because some areas really did get some locally heavy rain. So we're just gonna put it in the present and we're going to look at how much rain we had. Near Thibodeau, it was five inches. You had really heavy rain over by cutoff and then into the central portion of Plaquemines Parish over here as well, just into Gulfport. That was about four inches of rain. So we did have some serious rain. Let me just put the radar up. I also want you to notice the hail. Oh yeah, we had hail. Lafitte, that was one inch. And then you can see over here by Desolomons, that was one inch, but then much larger hail. This was two inches of, rain, of hail, and that was over by Brulee. All right, let me show you what's happening. We still have the severe thunderstorm watch in effect, but that's truly more to our west through 11 o'clock, and that's going to be allowed to expire. Flood watch in effect through one, that may be discontinued earlier, but as you saw, you've got issues over by Baton Rouge. This is the big picture, stronger storms well off to our west now. Still a risk that you could get Get locally heavy rain tomorrow and Thursday, but nothing like what we've seen recently. Frontal boundary is stalled very close to us, and there's that heavy rain that's more so to the west. Aloft, the air is splitting, but you can see how we've got some drier air moving in, and notice how the rain is building more to the west. You do have an upper high that's kind of helping to steer the traffic, and the good news is that's going to be moving out, but you still have a shot at some rain tomorrow. So midnight, we're in the low to the upper 70s in the morning. We may even have a few 60s on the North Shore. Going through the lunchtime hour, upper 80s to near 90 degrees in the afternoon, low to the mid 90s. And notice you do have some rain beginning to develop. And then in the afternoon, that rain is diminishing. Let's look at Thursday. Lows, low 70s to the low 80s. Gets hot, high temperatures in the mid 90s. So as you look at your forecast, you'll notice this big sun. Summer officially arrives tomorrow morning. I know it has felt like summer. Notice we continue with rain chances daily, but they do go down as you go into Sunday, Monday, and that means your temperatures are going up. I really thought we were already in summer for the longest time, Margaret. Thanks.